We know when Ben's supposed to be here. I mean, it's hurricane traffic, so he's stuck right now. That's fun. Gotta love the hurricanes. Well, we are bracing ourselves for a very big hurricane. Yeah, it might affect our um, progress, so. Hopefully, we avert its gaze <laughs> so we can come back as fast as possible. We should have some form of levitation or at least some form of testing going on tonight. We've got the plates, we've got motor controllers, rotor's almost done, it's got about three hours left. We'll put the magnets in and we'll try to levitate. Okay, so is this going to tell the actual disc things to start spinning kind actually, of thing? This will actually turn in 10 degrees and it will allow us to move the hoverboard in a different direction or stabilize it. So um, you're so not gonna be doing that like with your feet? No, because with this one, we want it to be able to move forward and backwards or side to side rather okay. than just stay stagnant or you have to kick. So how hard is this program, be honest? Not hard. What gets hard is actually receiving input and then translating it to make this turn the way we want it to. Let's do everything in, in order. First, you have to connect the ESC to your LiPo. An ESC is an electronic speed controller. And we've never worked with one of these. Usually it's just servos or um, potentiometers. And this is a new hurdle for us. So right now we're trying to collaborate and see what we can do to get all this working yeah. in time for the first motor. Watch fingers. Yeah, it's, it's on. No, it was too dope. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, that's it's working. working. Yeah. <laughs> Success. Here, crank her up. Crank her up. Look. See how fast it is. Yeah. Awesome. Got a lot louder because it's a little bit. There's actually buffeting in the air. Perfect. Now we can calculate the velocity. So now we can like control the motor. Exactly. Side to side, which one looks better? Especially this one, what happened? This is a part of this one. Like I came in here and it was still printing and I was just like echoing everywhere. But this could be called art. I think this would be like That's a Picasso. Modern art. That's modern art right there. It is. Last night we were starting our print and we ended up forgetting that our hole hadn't been set right. So we had to stop that print and we were like, okay, we'll correct for it. Real simple fix. And then we went to this one. Now what this one was is this was supposed to be the first print uh, but we had to leave it overnight. It came off the bed. And when that happens, the temperature is too cold. That happens a lot when there's storms outside, like right now. So there's a possibility that it could happen again. It could possibly happen with our current print. At this point, we were trying to hit mark one. We're not panicking, but we're like, okay, now we've got to kind of push that up and we got to start thinking about, okay. We're panicking. Done. Nice. Wow. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god. See, <laughs> I told you. Take it out now? <laughs> 0.2 millimeters, bro. That, you you out gotta now. make sure that magnet comes out now. Because it doesn't <laughs> I did not put that in. <laughs> we need another magnet to take it oh, out. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is like throwing a shoe at another shoe to get it out of a tree. Yes. We Why found our Allen so key. Lucky. We found so our Allen key. <laughs> take this off. If we can. What if you, is this plexi or is this glass? No, this is glass. No, yeah, we can't. I got this. Then we can't. And if we push too hard, that was we'll rip the tape. Yeah, we're gonna rip the tape. Okay, this is dangerous. Get away from me. What? Oh. Uh, what is this? Putty knife. Nice. Hey, this is, this, this'll hey. do, this'll do. We're gonna have to be brutal with it. There you go. Oh, there, there it goes, go. there it goes. Right. Yeah, it's coming. Oh my God. This is where the tension's gonna really suck. Hey, <laughs> success. There we go. Oh my god, that's that's perfect. Level the table. It's level. It's level across. That way. Flip it this way? Not so level. So that means the bed was on level, so we're a little off. So I think weight-wise, I think it will counteract, but faster you get, that's gonna get really unstable. Yeah. If this spins fast enough, first of all, it could just bust apart. Like, you know, if you see like a CD spinning, it's like just 
completely flat. It almost looks like it's not moving. But this one, if you spin it, you can see that it's going back and forth. All right, so we have finished the print. It's a little warped from the bed, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna still test it. We're just gonna see speed-wise how much RPMs we're getting. Just for safety, we're gonna tape it down. So in the next few seconds, we're gonna have a spinning rotor that's extremely unbalanced. We are taping the heck out of this motor so that if it decides to try to take off with a rotor on it, it's not gonna be able to, at least a little bit. All right, death wheel's going on. Cue the death Hopefully wheel. Hopefully it's tight enough, don't fly off. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not so you want me to do it? <laughs> All right, super slow. Oh, that's it? What's up with this? <laughs> oh. I think, I think the, wow. Well, I think it's right, receiving a bad signal. Wait, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Make sure this on, make sure this on. All right, close, close yeah, your eyes. Yeah, I just eyes. didn't want it to like, go really fast for that. Is it? Nope, there it goes. It's pretty stable, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah? Oh, no, there it goes. That's the unbalanced. That's, 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 the, the, unbalanced. that's the bed. No, that's the bottom. Oh, that yeah, the bottom? that's the bottom, all that stuff right there. You see? That's the I'm ducking. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's actually doing pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we are like pretty much dividing the speed by two right now. Yeah. So this is not even its full potential. Yeah. Fifty thousand RPM. Uh, it's, about to, it's about to get insane. All right. So I'm gonna speed it up just a bit. Gonna give it some more. I can't wait to put magnets on and this. And that's as fast as I'm gonna give it. Yeah, that's. That's too. That's yeah, too fast for my comfort <laughs> zone. <laughs> oh my God. That was actually. That was. That was worth it. That was worth. All right. It. Man, this is this thing's gonna live and take like net. <laughs> should we try even? Should we really? I mean, should we try honestly, the magnets tonight? Should we just put like one row of magnets and just try it? Yeah, let's do the magnets. So we'll do all the way around, how back array. So two north in front, facing in, and then south, what about south just facing. A single line. Yeah, here I'll, I'll I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Okay, yeah. so north is going in north. Give me like scotch tape or something, so we're gonna secure these as we go. This wants to get out of here. Yeah, it does. It wants to fly away. There's no way I can keep it in. Oh my. Here, I got it. Now yeah. north are facing north. Mm -hmm. Now we go one over, and we do south pointing up. You have to take a bunch of magnets, put them face down, strong side down, and we spool them up uh, to about 10,000 RPM, and uh, we'll create that current in the uh, plates, and it will cause a positive lift to uh, push back against the magnets as they uh, try to actually lay onto the aluminum. Oh my God, it doesn't want this to This is where it gets tough, because now the halback's actually working and it's pushing, it's gonna try to force everything out because it just doesn't want to hold together anymore. Wow. I think we built a grenade, everybody. We built a grenade. <laughs> this is now the official yeah, grenade. Yep. Yeah. Everybody clear the room. We, built it. we made a grenade. All right, so this is test one of the halback array disc. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't go in an array. So for this to be a successful test, we need to feel resistance between the disc. And to feel resistance, we, it needs to at least levitate just a bit or just keep the disc up. Mm -hmm. I'll start it up when you're ready. One, two, three. All right, lift it up just a little bit. It's doing it. Oh, wow, I feel it. You see how I have it right here? It gets faster. And then I go down, it starts slowing down because of the resistance that the... Mm -hmm. The magnets are torquing, pushing back so, against the motor and torquing mm -hmm. it, and this, we're actually losing this, RPMs. This is a successful test. That was cool. Our breaking news, another powerful storm may pose a direct threat to the United States. Notice the sustained winds, 130 miles per hour. That's the same strength that Hurricane Harvey was at. Florida is under a state of emergency and preparing for dangerous flooding. All right, we're gonna start uh, packing up because the hurricane is uh, gonna be here soon. We're gonna take this home, work on it. Dylan's gonna take the discs. He's gonna put all the magnets in them and have them complete. I'm gonna take the 3D printer home and have all the parts printing and uh, the rest of the guys are gonna do their research and uh, we're gonna see if we can get this motor done next time we come in. So our Hacker Labs team is really getting into the swing of things with creating this hoverboard. We have so much to do still and there is a hurricane coming in. So hopefully we can get everything done in time and the wind doesn't blow off the roof and we'll be all set to go. 
how far are you guys behind because of the hurricane? I'm racing against the clock. What's the worst that could happen? Somebody gets hurt. Come closer to me. Oh, Whoa, Dude, there goes right. one stop magnet. It, stop it, stop it. We, at this point, cannot test tonight safely. We have determined that these motors are not fast enough. We're back to square one. We're back to square one. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with our adventures and turn on that little bell to get notifications so you can see when the next episode comes out. And while you're here, check out some of the other cool videos that we have on our channel. See you next time.